Hey everyone, it's JoJo, and today I'll be reviewing a Beyblade burst accessory. So this is B27, the WBBA official bladers box. A box specifically for all your burst Beyblades. So you got special slots in there that'll fit specific Beyblade burst accessories. So here on the front, kind of just showing you an overview of what's inside. And on the back, I'm going into a little bit more detail on um, how to organize this box. So it comes with stickers and has like certain slots for the certain parts and your accessories, your launchers, all that stuff. And yeah, just kind of a little bit more information which we'll be going over during the unboxing slash review. So basically, it's a cute little box. <laughs> uh, really good size, I think. So this part just comes off and there's nothing inside. And it's got these two locks right here. You open it up. And on the top, you can see there are stickers to decorate your box, however you like it, and a QR code for the Beyblade app on your smartphone. So inside of the official Bladers box, you have these foam pieces with cutouts of your accessories. So this top one is for your launcher, your grip launcher, and uh, your bay logger. So here's the string launcher right here, and you just fit it in like that your launcher grip, and your bay logger. Yeah, and it fits perfectly. And it seems like there could be room for another one, but not much room. You can see there's a little bit more room in there. So that's for the top part of that. Let's put this aside. And here you can see these eight slots for your Beyblades, of course. Alright, so I have the dual layer system and just the regular Beyblade Burst, the initial releases for them. So let's move those out the way for a little bit. And I wanted to test out um, what fits better. Obviously the dual layer system is a little bit bigger and some of the regular Beyblade Bursts are a little bit bigger too, like Yeet Uh So I wanted to test it out and see what really fits. And here's Vil uh, Victory Valkyrie. He doesn't go in all the way just because he's got really wide wings on the layer. But since they're foam, you could pretty much just stretch them out and just have them all snugged in there. You don't want to do it too much because you can see the driver is pushing down on the foam. You don't want to make any holes or anything like that. So that's enough right there. And we've got Ragnarok, Rising Ragnarok, and he fits pretty good. And one of my recent unboxings, Holy Herucid. Yeah, so they all fit pretty well. Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil is a little bit wider. Odin. Odin just like fell right in there. And then we have Neptune. Alright. And let's just fill it out more just for fun. So we have... Dark Death Scyther, and that fits in pretty well too. And my combo, Spriggan Heavy Excel. So yeah, they fit pretty nice and snug. It's a good thing that it's made out of foam so it could stretch and they all fit very nicely. Alright, so that's that one. Let's put this aside. And the last part inside the box, you have this clear plastic tray. And it's not, it's kind of th thin, but like durable enough. This is where you would keep your extra parts. So you got your layers in here. These ones you could stack, unlike with the foam parts. And you got your uh, discs. So you got that in there. And just other pieces, other parts in here. I think you could even fit a launcher in there, but we'll see. Put that in there and see if that could fit everything inside. Next, the Beyblades and your accessories. And for the ripcord, you pretty much just lay it on top if you want to put it there. Uh, this is just a regular length ripcord. If you have the long winder, it doesn't fit. 
unfortunately it kind of sticks out unless you want to like bend it a little bit and put it on the bottom part of your box so if you don't mind having your winders bent a little it might be able to fit actually I'm not sure because this part is pretty thick but let's try it oh nope it fits pretty well and we close that and lock it up and you are ready to go very handy box for your Beyblade storage. So I would recommend getting the WBBA official bladers box for traveling mainly. If you're going to your local Beyblade tournament or want to take your Beyblades to a friend's house, this is a really nice accessory to hold all your Beyblades together and to keep them organized. I wouldn't recommend it for your entire Beyblade collection. It's not the strongest box. It's made out of plastic, so it's not going to be um, as durable as metal or, you know, uh, metal cases. There isn't enough room or slots if you have a big collection. Although you can take out the foam pieces and the plastic tray in the bottom, it's still going to be too heavy for the handle on the box. So again, I would recommend this if you are traveling, going to a friend's house, or going to your big way tournament. It's a good way to keep all your things organized. So that's about it for this review. What do you guys think about the official Bladers box? And let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to favorite and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time with more Beyblade. See you soon.